Hello, and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to make some modular river segments. Uh, these are small, uh, short length segments that you can put together on the board. They all fit together in um, whichever way you want to configure them. And they're relatively thin. They're um, only on this eighth inch MDF, so they're really small, thin pieces, um, relatively easy to store that way. They're a little bit narrow for, you know, a large river or something that you might take a boat up, but it certainly could be something that you could canoe, uh, canoe down or simply just use it as a, um, an obstacle that they have to cross. So this would be useful for wargaming um, or uh, it could be used in a role-playing game like Dungeons and Dragons. So let's go to the table and see how this is done. For this craft, we're going to be using this eighth inch MDF uh, sorter shelves. I found an excess of these MDF sorter shelves and thought these would be uh, a great resource to make some rivers. So I'm just measuring out um, three inch end caps for all of the rivers so that they all match up and will marry together eventually, uh, making some splitters and varying lengths. Most of them are six inches in length and then some are varying lengths um, different from that. We're cutting these out on a band saw. Um, makes it pretty simple to just get a, a quick pattern and cut out the different shapes. Cleaning up the edges with a sanding block, not doing too much, just making sure that there's no rough or frayed edges. Then we're measuring a two inch river. So the actual water, the uh, waterway is actually two inches wide at the ends. So they all marry up again. Now I'm using this um, modeling paste uh, from Golden. This has a very sandy texture, but it adheres really well to this MDF and relatively easy to work with. Um, I've done just glued on sand and that's worked pretty well. Um, but for this one, I wanted it to have a little bit more of a muddy bank look. And I figured this modeling paste would be a good alternative. Just using a, an artist um, knife to try to work it in, not leave too much um, spikiness to it just really working it in trying to get some low points and high points using my finger and the knife as needed once that is uh, fully set then I come along with some white glue and glue on some larger rocks to um, be kind of a an interest along the side of the shore and for this one I decided to put uh, make kind of a shallow rapids area uh, that could be used to try to cross the river without getting wet. After all of the sand is fully dried, then we're hitting this with some black spray paint. And I ended up spraying both sides just to make sure that the MDF would be sealed. Now we're using a dark brown and doing a dry brush over the banks and then working that brown just slightly into the river to give it a, an illusion of some depth into the river. Now we're using a sandy tan and hitting the edges and the rocks, but not really working into the water all too much, except for a couple places in, especially in the bend of the river where it would tend to shallow out um, with a sandbar. Now I'm using kind of a khaki tan and picking out just the rocks and a few of the sand highlights. I'm coming along with some gloss uh, finish this will give it the wet water look when it's done. After that one dried, I realized I didn't like just the plain clear, so I used some of that gloss finish and added some green acrylic ink and a little bit of burnt umber acrylic ink just to give it a little bit more of a, a dirty water look and ended up coating that another two times with this uh, green ink gloss as well. And here's the final product. You can tell that green ink 
comes through in that water just a little bit, just adds a little bit of a discoloration. The glossiness gives it kind of the realism of water without having a lot of uh, water texture. If I would do it again, I might add, um, try to figure out some way of adding a little bit more texture to the waves. But for a quick and easy river system, uh, the gloss finish just straight onto the MDF works just fine. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you.